Hi everybody, it's Michelle Whitwiller here at, with Owl Star Stampers. Um, joining you on this Black Friday. I hope everybody has survived today if you've been out shopping or maybe you've done some online shopping. Um, today I'm going to show you tonight some, some gift tags because if you, after Thanksgiving, there was shopping, actually before and after, and then Black Friday, or if you were like me, I did all my shopping online. So now that you might have Christmas packages coming, or you've already got them from shopping today or yesterday, you need to package them up really cute. And so I have some cute gift card tags that we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do with one stamp set featuring the Merry Little Label stamp set. Um, before we get started with that, I just want to do a quick reminder. Um, I have a host code um, that's for the whole month of November. And so if you're doing any online ordering, you're going to want to use that. Real quickly, I just got an email a little while ago from Stamping Up. And on Monday, there's going to be free shipping for 24 hours, which is awesome. They hardly ever do this. So if you do want to order, I'm just telling you now, you might want to wait until Monday and uh, place that order on Monday. And then Monday night, um, if any orders I um, that are over $25, I'll send you all the pieces to make these cute little gift tags as well. Um, I will also pop on Monday for a quick Facebook Live as well, so uh, be looking for that. But um, we will get started. Make sure you're commenting. I have, because it's Black Friday, of course I have some black rhinestones to give away. I've given these away before. I'm still using them, even though Halloween's over. They're, they're great embellishments um, to use. We're gonna use them on the tags tonight. So comment and share for a chance to win a full package of the black rhinestones. Um, the stamp set that we're featuring is gonna be the Merry Little Labels. This is on page 12 of your holiday catalog, and it comes in a bundle. And in the bundle, you get the punch as well. I know that has the silver glare, but this is the everyday label punch and I love this. This bundle is very affordable. It is only $34 for the clear mount or $41.25 if you want the wood, the wood stamps. So it's a really great deal. And like I'm going to show you, you can make some really cute tags, also some cards with it. So let's get started. Um, I will show you here, here it is in the catalog on page 12. Here's a stamp set. It comes with six, six uh, stamps and the punch. We're also gonna be using the Merry Little Christmas Designer Series paper. Um, it has black, old olive, and whisper white. It's very pretty um, Christmas paper. So we're gonna be using that on the tags as well. Okay, so. Here, here's one of the tags, uh, just for you. Uh, no peeking, um, eat, drink, and be merry, and let it snow. We're gonna start with this one because this is what I have mounted on my, on my clear block. So again, this is a clear set. So the, the stamps come like this. They're red rubber, but they're not on a block. You need to use an acrylic block, so that's, the difference between clear, clear uh, mount stamps and wood mount, and then photo polymer are completely see-through stamps. So I, I get that question every so often and I kind of just take it for granted. So this is the clear mount, it's mounted on the acrylic block. And what I did for this one is I just took some Whisper White, Whisper White cardstock, and I used the Old Olive ink pad. And we're just gonna ink this up and I think I need to re-ink my ink pad because it's getting a little dry. And I'm just gonna stamp this down here. Now I'm gonna be punching this out with a circle so it's easier with these stamps to um, stamp first and then punch it out so you can line it up well. So here's my two inch circle punch. You stick it in upside down so you can line it up and then you squeeze it to get your circle. So there we have that, we're done with that now. And then I went ahead and I already 
punched out my my label from my every from the coordinating punch in that DSP I was talking about. So that's and then I also cut out here's one of the patterns a paper. There's cute little trees on the back. This is just a two inch by four inch strip and I'm using the scallop tag topper on a lot of these. And so we're just gonna stick this in. A two inch strip works perfect. You slide it in all the way and then when you, you punch it out, it makes a quick and easy tag. Can you see the, the top there? So you can thread your ribbon right through. So those are our pieces. So now we're going to assemble this. So the, the first thing I did is I took some old olive, the ribbon, and I, I just, if you can see in here, I just see the ribbon, how it's uh, kind of, I don't know, wove back and forth there. So I just, this is how I did it. People are always like, how do you do that? I just, I don't know, I just eyeball it and kind of weave it back and forth, kind of like this. I get about what I think I need. I'm just gonna cut this off. This is 1 8 inch ribbon. This is in the annual catalog. And then I took some mini glue dots and I set them in this, put them in the center to hold the ribbon down. I'm just attaching one on top of the other so the ribbon will, will adhere to that. And then I'm gonna just weave this back like I just showed you. Just kind of fold it. Um, and then come, come back. Wait, oh, that came undone. Okay, stick it down. And then you can see I still got a little bit too much ribbon, so I'm just gonna trim that off. That's stuck down pretty good now. So then the next thing, I'm gonna take this, my um, everyday label, I'm gonna put a dimensional on the top and bottom and stick that over top of the ribbon. Does anybody else have this bundle already? It is, it's a really great, it's a really great one to have in your collection. Then we're going to take um, this and also add it with uh, with the dimensional. You can see how fast these cute little tags are. And then we're just gonna stick that right on top. And then I'm gonna take our, the normal rhinestones, and you could take one of your blends, the, the red cherry cobbler, or is it cherry cobbler? I, or you could use a red Sharpie marker and just color one of those rhinestones in. The blends because they're alcohol based. And then I'm just gonna stick that right, right there. Oops, it stuck to my finger, of course. Stick that rhinestone, come on, right there. So we have the rhinestone. And then we're just gonna take a little bit more of that ribbon, um, thread it through the, the loop. I just take both of the ends together I go in from the back both of them and I just pull them pull them through like that and then I'm just going to embellish it with a few of those black rhinestones um, as well so again I always I like to use the tips of my scissors they seem usually work well when positioning these we'll add a few of these on there and there is tag there's tag number one. So you can just hang that from a cute, cute package. And what I would do is on the back, you could just write who it's to or from, or you could punch out another circle and um, stamp the to and from on the back. So there's the first tag. The next tag we will do is uh, this one, it's no peeking. So let me just get my, get my stamp out. I'm just gonna stick that on there. This one we're using the black Memento, Memento ink. And all we need is that piece right there. Here's, that's what the back looks like, the kind of like little, little flakes, starburst. We're gonna use that scallop tag topper. So we're just punching the top, just like that. 
On my, my scrap white, I'm just gonna ink this up with the black. Really good. And then we will punch it out with the everyday label punch. Okay, line that up and then punch it out. Okay, and then this one, I'm just gonna add my dimensionals on the back. And stick this down and then I added the silver rhinestones on the top and bottom there. So let me add those. I think everything needs a little bit of sparkle. That's just me. And I'm gonna cut more of this old olive ribbon. Again, I'm just gonna thread this from the back, grab it through the loop, and there's tag number two. Very quick and easy and simple. And again, this one, because it is black, I would definitely add either another label, um, like the label right there, the white on the back, so you can write who it's to and from. Okay, tag number three. Um, very, very pretty, let it snow. And see, that's the this is the opposite side of that paper. So I have it right here. Again, these strips that I'm using with the scallop tag topper are two inches by four inches. And you're just gonna slide that in this punch. It makes very quick tags. I cut a strip of the silver glimmer paper that's a half an inch by two. And we're gonna stick that down with some mini glue dots because this sparkly paper does not like to stick very well. And that just goes about in the center, just like that. Then I'm gonna switch my stamps really fast to that Let It Snow. And again, that one will be inked up in the black memento. Let me, I'll have to clean all these stamps off. You can tell this set has been used. My, oops. Okay, let's bring in my Scrap Whisper White to stamp this one. And then we will, we're gonna stamp it. Bring in our Everyday Label Punch and punch it out. Okay, and again, we're gonna use some dimensionals on the top and the bottom to attach this. Just like that, and then I took, again, I sprinkled some of these rhinestones on here. I used a silver because there's lots of black ink I put a few over some of the dots, a little like snow. And then for this one, I used for the ribbon at the top, the silver metallic edge ribbon. You could use anything, but this is just so pretty. Again, this is one of my favorites. This is in the annual catalog as well. And I'm going to come in from the back and grab it through the through the loop like that. So there's tag number, what is that, number three? So again, we've made three really quick tags that are pretty that will decorate your package. Now let's do the last one. The last one I did a little bit differently. Here it is. It says, just for you. So I'm gonna grab that stamp. This one I did not use an ink pad. Um, I use our Stampin' Write markers. I will show you how I did that. I'm just gonna, I'm sticking my, my stamp on the block and then I grabbed, these are our Stampin' Write markers, the Old Olive and the Basic Black. And what I did is I colored in um, with the wider end with the marker, just like this. 
and then I did the, then I'm gonna go back with the black and do the for you. Now you don't want to like do it the tip. I always do like kind of the side of the marker so I don't damage them. And you just color in your words and you can do these you know obviously with other stamps or words or images if you want other colors. And I'm just being very careful around there. Now what you can do is because I did and I'm not going to show you, but you kind of just bring it up to your mouth and huff on it to make sure the ink is still moist. You probably could hear me. And you're just going to stamp it. And it turns out just like that. So that's a way you can get two different colors. And then we're going to punch it out. Again. I need to put my cap on my marker. Okay. And then what I went ahead and did is my everyday label punch. I punched out another one with this. And this is just going to get glued going like crisscross. So let me get my, I have no snail. Okay, we'll use a mini glue dot. We're going to attach this here. Just kind of in the center. And then, because the back is black, this is what I kept this is what I'm talking about. I punched another one out in white, whisper white, and I'm just gonna attach that right, right there on the back so that you can actually write who it's to and from. And there is a, a four and from in this stamp set. Right there, there's a four and from, so you could use that on the back too if you wanted. And then we're gonna, you're gonna use your, your punch um, to thread your black baker's twine at the top, which I don't have here. So let me, um, I put some of the black rhinestones on, so let me do that. I use the biggest ones on each, on each end. I'm having so much issues with these rhinestones tonight. So here, just like that. And then I would just punch my little hole and, and thread, um, thread that through so you could attach it to a package. And then you can have your to and from on the back. So that is the fourth tag. So let me show you all four tags again. We have the for you, the be, eat, drink, and be merry. We have the let it snow. And we have the no peeking. So you can let me know which, which tag is your favorite. I love it because they all coordinate. You could make up several of these and put them in a little, one of our acetate boxes or make your own little box and, and give these as a little a gift to um, somebody that's maybe hard to buy for. Or you can obviously make several of these yourself and have cute tags for your own gift packaging. Again, you can get the whole bundle, all of these stamps, plus the punch in Clearmount for only $34. So that is an awesome deal. Um, again, make sure you're commenting and sharing. Tomorrow I will pick a winner for the black rhinestones, again, because it's Black Friday. And um, if you would like to order anything between now and Monday night, I'll give you till Monday night, because like I said, if you, if you joined in later, Monday for 24 hours, Stamping Up is having free shipping. You can, um, any order that's at least $25, I will send you all the supplies for four of your own tags. I can't send you the stamped images, but I can send you all the pieces and parts, the ribbons and stuff like that. So um, you can get in on my, this is the host code you can use, or you can contact me and I can place that order for you. So I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family and your friends, and I hope you have a great weekend. And thank you for joining me. I'll be on Monday for, um, for Facebook Live on Monday. Thank you. See you then. Bye.